I'm going to be going over a mod that is free to use and safe that can make you over 400 million coins a day, and it actually works. If you guys enjoyed today's video, subscribe. I have a few announcements that I think you will really want to hear. Without further ado, let's get into the video. So the mod I'm going to be going over is NEC. Basically speaking, what it does for those of you who don't know is it's an auction sniper mod. Basically speaking, what that means is whenever someone puts up a bin for under market value. So for example, I'm not going to buy it, but Scar Studies. This is going for 100k under the lowest bin. It will tell you and say, hey, this is going for under and click to buy it. And there's a bunch of settings you can do. If you do slash NEC, you can change all the settings. You can change the minimum profit, the demand, the profit margin, the alert sounds. You can explore through and look at the settings. There's a lot. So once you have the mod, you can do slash neck. Once here, you can literally change up all the settings you want to. A few settings that I recommend having on. A, manipulation check. B, check the item before you buy it. I've seen some items. I've been using this for a little bit. I've seen some items that are like, yo, golem leggings, 500k profit. And even if it's not market manipulation, using common sense, you should know that golem leggings are not going to sell for 500k. Like this, rancher boots, 2.5 mil. That was an easy snag. And if you go search up rancher, we're going to see lowest rancher boots going for 2.9. I just made 400k in a flip, right? So looking out for the good flips, setting the customization to the stuff that you want to do is a super good idea. And I'm going to be showing you 10 minutes of loot, I guess you could call it. So I'm going to set up with 500 mil and we'll see how much items I end up getting and how much items they will end up selling for. Okay, so I just spent about 10 minutes flipping and I was able to spend around 30 million coins. Now, I made a lot of profit from this. I could have made more. There were some items that I missed. There was really like there was a storm leggings that was going for like I think eight million coins profit that I missed, but I got a good amount of items. And if you're on EH, we can see I have a lot of items. Now all this is not guaranteed to sell, but most of it probably will. If we check, first off, let's go with the new things. 1.2, 1. 1. point. This is about 2.5 million coins. This is about 2.5 million coins, so five million coins. This is about three point, this combined is about five million coins. So, so far we're at about 10 million coins more. This one is once again, also about five million coins. So a total about 17 million coins, plus this one for 38 mil. Even with this flip alone, we've already made 10 mil. With all the stuff added on, we've made about 25 mil in 10 minutes. Point is, this mod works. Now, some of the settings you might want to fiddle around with, because now it's not gonna happen often, but this minimum demand is the thing I recommend you play with the most. Minimum de demand is how much sales per day. Now, if you have zero, this means you get a random order like a stool or like a golem, something that no one ever sells or buys and it's worth absolutely dog shit and you can end up losing like 500k. But if you have that at zero, you could potentially get some of the better items. Because I don't know what the demand is. Uh... All right, sick, just snagged that. But I don't know what the demand is, but for example, a Hyperion or a Necron handle, odds are probably aren't going to be selling 5 or 10 a day considering there's only 5 on AH. So having that at zero means you can potentially snipe a giant sort of Necron handle and make shit tons of money, but it also means you might find some items that aren't going to sell as easy and end up taking a long time to get your money back. So play around with it, do whatever the hell you want with it, but I do really recommend using this. Uh, what is this one? Next dungeon floor. Next. And now keep in mind, these items are going to take a while to sell. I mean, not a while, but they will take some time to sell. Depends on the item. If you, for example, I so far have had like seven of my items sell. But like buying things that people are, you know are going to buy or is not a, is a pretty good idea. So for example, Pick Nombus, it was only 80k profit, but I knew that it was going to sell like instantly. So I bought it. For example, other items that I've seen, like, okay, that's going to take a while to sell because of the nature of what the item it is. I decided not to buy because it's not worth my time. So experimenting with this mod and figuring out what it does and how you can use it to your advantage, I recommend using. But as I've proven, you can make a lot of money. You also need to have some money to do this, right? Like, I've spent, what is that, 30 million coins, and I'm probably not going to get it back for another... I'm probably not going to get most of it back for another, what, 12 hours, probably? So I set all my uh, auction houses, by the way, to two days. I recommend you do the same. It costs like 500k, 500 coins more. And it makes it just so, so much more reliable. But I highly recommend doing this. 
super good super easy also there's a one minute timer on it so every minute it's just like that on q will pop up you look you see probably should have bought that different fragment but you know that's fine and you can do that overall hope you guys enjoyed today's video hope it was helpful and i'll see you guys next one peace out